As the lector, we've been known to be on the forefront of innovation. Our mission is to look after our people, to look after the nature, and to be responsible when it comes to finance and the future development. The lector started in 1997, just after deregulation in South Africa. We are a producer-owned fruit exporter in South Africa. We export stone fruit, apples and pears, grapes and citrus. On stone fruit we're supplied by about another 30 producers. The growers we partner with are growers that think for the future as well. We, we like to associate ourselves with growers that implement processes um, that is beneficial for the whole cost chain. The farm that we're on at the moment, um, Lissov, has got a trial block and the farm has been planted widely with new varieties that was planted for the future. So this trial block, the, the main purpose is to test the rootstock combinations with the, with the variety to see if it's later or earlier or more vigorous or less vigorous in our specific climate. And also it's kind of training for our people so they can see what's to come in the future to get them connected to the bigger picture of the whole farm and what we are farming and what we're doing and where we are going. My passion is the people and it's, it's, you can talk the talk you can, but literally somebody has to pick the fruit with their hand and they must be connected to the bigger picture. People accept the technology and what we are giving them to work with because they see it's working for them and they're actually caring for it, they're actually looking for more. Uh, like when we plant the seeds and now it's growing and it's a kind of to keep this car in the road at the moment. Sustainability is about integration and the sustainability of the orchard is the key. If the orchard are sustainable and the planning is correct through trial blocks, we plant the right variety, right rootstock, right place, then we will have a sustainable orchard. So we will use less water per fruit and that's what we're after. Romans Rafir is one of the farms that we have in the Woolsley Valley. The altitude is much lower to sea level. It's a uh, it's quite a windy area, but it is a mild temperature area um, and it allows us to be early and it produces a very nice eating quality. Our Graaf Fruit bought this farm I think in 2008 and um, they started developing this whole setup. What we will see from here is um, the nets, the whole 60 hectares of nets um, on your left hand side of the farm. Um, you can see from the top far away to the bottom of the nets and right at the bottom is the dam. So all our irrigation water is coming from, from, from this dam. I personally believe in, in, in soil health. Uh, where we, start, we started with the mulch and for the past two seasons we're also making our own compost on the farm. We're saving a lot of water with, with mulch and we're keeping a nice climate in the soil the whole time. So you can irrigate um, a little bit less I always believe first build a tree and then you start, start farming fruit. About 20-30% of our nectarines um, is uh, uh, white flesh and then the rest is, uh, will be yellow flesh. They grow faster under the net because of the microclimate that you create underneath the net. It's much more protected so there's no wind issues underneath the net. So yeah, the trees are definitely growing uh, much faster. Uh, there's a water saving benefit underneath the net as well. Each and every morning, early in the morning, like five o'clock in the morning, we, me and the two managers, um, come out to the fields, we take a sample, um, and then we take it back to the shed to do a, a pressure at the bricks test. 
or a firmness test and then from there on we will determine what, what we will pick the day and what we will leave. We try to create a, a, a calm environment because the moment you start rushing then you will have issues. Our mission is to supply top quality product um, to the end customer. We worked with Spinneys for the last 10 years and um, we've supplied them with peaches, nectarines and um, plums and apricots or there are various pack houses. Um, just across here we've got one of our largest pack houses which is Graf Fruit. Stone fruit is very delicate to transport, the shelf life is very delicate and our total mission is to make sure that we keep that chain as short as possible to ensure that the, the end customer, the consumer, have the maximum shelf life and productivity of the product. So the quickest we get product across um, is by air freight. Air freight is generally can be um, overnight and it will be in Dubai the next day and probably on the shelf the next the day thereafter in spinnies. So at the end of the day when you pick this stuff and you can see all your hard work um, pays off then that satisfaction. Hi.